Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, I've been moving some bits about again, trying to uh, improve my base. Uh, let's get that out of my hand. One of the things I've done is I've um, I put a lift down here because I was sick of running all the way around there to get up to the top. So now I've got a little lift which I can just jump into, and we'll take me to the top. And uh, yeah, we've still got the trader there. Uh, I'll talk about him in a moment. Um, what I have done though is uh, I decided, you know what? This is I hate this here. I don't like it here. It's in the way. Yeah, so I decided I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to replace it. Let's go big or go home. So I have built it's a large, massive dish, a sort of cross between the Jodrell Bank and the uh, massive Arecibo in South America that's no longer there because it collapsed a couple of years ago. But you know what I mean. Towers and um, big towers controlling the head in the middle so yeah yeah this is a big old dish um, I, I'm quite impressed with that one it takes quite a bit to build it takes I think so 20 sheets of steel uh, plastic cabling all kinds it does it does take a lot to build as you can see it's not connected yet uh, we will get around to that in a moment but yeah I just trying to get the bits done so yeah I built um, a lift I just want to encase it in um oh don't want glass yeah let's go glass so let's see what's going on uh, I don't need glasses yeah I don't need glasses at the back um, 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 um I need probably just no, where's my Let's just go for a panel at the back. Um, plastic, plastic, plastic. Now I've never actually built an elevator in uh, this game before, so this is the first for me. Um, what can I do on the top? Can I? No, I've got to do from both, do I? And plastic. And some glass. Go on. Let's quickly nip down. Yeah, sealed that side, sealed that side. Yeah, it's all sealed now. Just make sure it's sealed. So let's go back up again. So yeah, so we've got the elevator now to get up here so we can speak to him. Um, this guy, I did actually build a uh, ship repair kit. And that is, I think it's 10 frames, 20 steel sheets, 20 plastic sheets, 15 cabling, 10 pipe kits and an arc welder with a new battery or a gas welder with a canister containing 100 moles of fuel which has to be a 3366 mix of volatiles and oxygen so I did the arc welder so it's quite a bit to make it but I got the 450 euros credits whatever you want to call them uh, which allowed me to buy some chocolate I so bought the uh, cocoa plants. I haven't planted them yet, I've just bought them and put them in my inventory. But I also noticed something else I'm missing um, is the pumpkin. I actually managed to kill all my pumpkin plants. Um, and I've only got 250 left, so I need to try and get another 150. And the only way to do that is either by this, doing this, or um, saying goodbye to him and calling him back later. Bye bye, mister. Off he goes. Why don't my rockets work that way? Well, he went quick. Um, so this pad is going to get expanded to 9x9 nine nine at some point. So I've been adding panels for that. Um, I haven't moved my Stirling engine yet. It's still there. I do need to move it. It's producing well, a whole 12 watts of power. Um, it does produce more when I'm venting gas. I built this last time. This big long runway. Apparently it doesn't quite need to be this big. But hey, what, what the hell. 
it's here now, let's keep it. I think it's going to look funky though, it's this size. Um, let's put the elevator in and move some bits around. What else have I been doing? So I've also finished the all glass along here now. Glass roof in here. Uh, come in here, all this is enclosed. All this. Um, so I can get now get here in a storm without too many problems. Um, I put the door here. I did have the this controller here, if you remember, but I couldn't get out the door when it was there. It was too much in the way. And I thought, well, I'll stick around here somewhere, but it won't go on these. It needs to be sat in a frame base by the looks of it. So ultimately, I moved in here and I thought, you know what? It looks okay. It's got that bit there which sort of sticks out above the glass. I might change that for just a panel rather than glass. In fact, let's do that. Um, it'll just look a bit better than things sticking through glass. Um, what do I want? I want the crowbar. Let's get rid of the glass. And get rid of the plastic. Then you just like that. There we go. And I want just a panel. Any old panel will do for now. Uh, it's too plastic, I think. There we go. That just looks a bit better, I guess. Just things going up in the ceiling. Oh, I missed some glass. <laughs> well, that wasn't intentional, by the way. I didn't do that so I could come up here and show you this. Yeah, no, that looks alright with that frame bit there at the bottom. That looks okay. Uh, yeah, I just missed this glass. I don't know how I did that. Okay, uh, well, I've got some glass on me. Let's fill it in. There we go. Right, so yeah, so i moved some of these railings around as well, so I'm going to probably put railings all the way around. Yes, it's still groaning. I'm still over-pressurising everything. How much pressure we've got at the moment? 40 megapascals. And you'll probably find them out of either volatiles or... Um, oxide. I have been taking them out of my storage lockers and dumping them into the uh, sorting system so they come down, but... Let's see, what have we got? What have we got left? Oh, plenty of oxygen. Yeah, it's volatiles of short. Oh, which is not surprising, we use twice as much of them. Um, I can't do anything. What's in here at the moment? I did put some more stuff in here. Um, that's just... I can all go through there to be um, filtered out. What are the filters doing? 100%, 98. That's fine. Yeah, I need to enclose this bit as well at some point. Probably just put a... I don't think we have frames across there. Probably will, just to keep it the same. Um, and I'll put some ceiling pads, uh, panels up here and some walls around here. This is all done now anyway. This was all used. Um, this is proper just uh, volatiles now. There's no mixed oxygen or nitrogen there from my cock-up. That is pure oxygen. And that is pure nitrogen, so that's all still working well. How are you doing? Yeah, you're going down. That's good. Let's make sure I'm not over-pressurising any pipes. Um. No, it's okay. Alright. So that's that all done. I stuck some doors in here. I think I was saying I was going to do that last time. This is just the frame that that big antenna sat on. I'm going to put another frame down here just so it connects to the floor. And I will put a floor in here. Um, doo -doo -doo. I've been up there, been up there, been up there, over there, been around here. Uh, what else have I done? Nothing really here. We're doing a pressure on these. 2.2, 3.93. Somebody did ask me for my code for running... Oh, I missed a panel. Uh, running my code for running this, which I've now uploaded uh, against the appropriate comments on... Uh, I think it's episode 17 for that. Um, this, is this all running? Uh, no, so what I wanted to do... Oh, he has no wall here at the moment, currently. I was just running this in, but I don't think I can fit the chute. That's that cabling. Oh, I can do it that way. Can I? I can. I lied. I can. And I need two more shoots, which I've got. So let me just get them. I had to move that uh, recycler to run the cabling in for... 
the um, elevator. Let's just do it from outside, it'll be easier. So I connected up again, now I can go and put that wall back. And the flooring. Uh, just normal walling. Are they the same? Yeah, the same. Flat wall kit, that's the one. Uh, no, it's not a flat wall kit I want, it's a wall kit I want. done so let's sort out again oh look no dirty ore oh that went through quick so our centrifuge is actually running quicker than our two deep miners can cope with I may have to put another uh, deep miner on here I think we'll have to do that Okay. Amy, are you finished again? I'll turn you on, let you go. I've sent a way out to miles out to get stuff. Or was that just because of the storm? And I had a storm while I was working on the site and uh, I had to get it to come back in. Okay, so I've done all around there, I've done that. I've not really done anything else, I don't think, other than that. I've not really done much in here other than plant the sugar cane and the tomatoes. And uh, as the tomatoes are doing, thriving towards fruiting. Sugar cane, create one sugar cane seed. Okay, so this looks like sugar cane's ready. Sugar cane seed. Sugar cane seed, good, good. Let's just put that away, and then we'll uh, harvest the sugar cane. And let's just plant the seeds again. Why do we want the sugar cane? We want the sugar cane because lots of these recipes require sugar. That's just flour, that's sugar and cocoa. Uh, milk, I haven't got milk. I uh, haven't got eggs, I can't do that one. Flour and cocoa, condensed milk, I haven't got, got that. Okay, so not lots, but some. Tomatoes, french fries, uh, flour, milk, egg, I haven't got milk again. Powdered eggs, pumpkin pie. So, it, I can make a few things with the sugar anyway, so. Things like a chocolate bar, that's what we want to make. Um, what does that need again? That needs... 10 grams of sugar and 2 grams of cocoa. Well, I've not got the cocoa yet because I'm planting it. But how do I get sugar? Do I have to put the sugar through you? Let's see what happens. Yay, that's how you get sugar. Okay. Oh, and each one of them gives us five grams of sugar, does it? Oh. Okay, so now we've got 45 grams of sugar. What can we make with 45 grams of sugar and nothing else? No, we need we need cocoa for the rest. Okay, I can just stay in there. It's fine. 
Um, let me just harvest the wheat. I don't need all this wheat anymore. My intention wasn't to be about planting this episode, but I do want to get the cocoa in now. I need to check what the cocoa requirements are because they're uh, different to what the other plants are. I think it needs a higher temperature. Now somebody did say between 20 and 30 degrees. Well, my room's already 27 degrees. I'll keep it at 27 degrees. Um, just a standard, but I'll check once I plant the cocoa. And I may only plant one to begin with, because um, I'll see if it doesn't grow properly. I don't want to kill off all my uh, cocoa plants in one go, as I did with my pumpkins. Right. Um, I can go in there. Where's my cocoa? Where are you? Cocoa seeds, there we go. Let's just plant one of these. Um, rice seeds, wheat seeds. No, tens a maximum, okay. You don't need to be in there. I'll get rid of you in a minute. Let's stick in there for now. You're rotten food. What I do want is my tablet. Let's see what the cocoa requires. So growth weight efficiency 94, breathing efficiency 99, temperature is 98, min ideal temperature is 29, max ideal 20 is 41, so it really needs to be 29 in here. But I think the other is a maximum of 30. Max temperature 32. Max temperature 30, 31, 30. So if I set the temperature in here, so press C while I do this. Let's just go with steps of 1 to 29. Temperature in here should come up to 29 and then be held there, which will allow... Water is too cold. Oh, well that's a new one. What temperature is the water at? Where's our other tablet? There we go. Water temperature 8 degrees. Hmm. That's interesting. We can warm it up. Um, Okay, so I need a bit of pipe, water pipe, if I've got any here. No, I'll probably just have to go out and get that. Let's just dump that in here for the moment. I'm sure I've got some water pipe in here. Yeah, there we go. And then... Heater, liquid pipe. There we go. Oh, iron. I've got no iron. Wow. Let's quickly solve that one. Oh, temperature's too low. Let's just... Get rid of you. Close you. That's just my vent from the waste tank up to my Stirling engine. When I get to about 10 kilopascals, I vent it just so we can make some energy out of it. It's not great, but it works. I need to really I need to enclose my Stirling engine in a in a room with a higher pressure and some heat exchanger so I can keep the room cool. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, this one. Iron. Boom. There we go.
let's get this. Air tank low. So the water pipe. Um, I just need to throw it away. Eddie. Oh, God's sake! Too many games, too many key combinations. Right. That's power on that side. I don't know what temperature the water's going to be at, to be honest. Is that on? Is that connected? Or have I just connected that to something that's not connected? I think I've connected that to something that's not connected. Um, grinder, 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 there we go. Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. How do I do this? Um, Strip all the cabling out. And I've got some normal cabling, I'll use this instead. Um, I did, oh, something else to show you, so I did recover my rocket from space. Um, I left it for ages, forgetting it was scanning that uh, really far away area and um yeah I uh when I remember does don't lemp send battery so I did remember in time but only just okay that's on so that should be doing thing now if I get the atmospheric sensor on there the water temperature should be going up. Yeah, 807, 808, 8.0 HSA, 8.09. So, F1, Coco. Um, what does it say about water temperature? So, in, inhaled gas, exhaled gas, yeah, toxic gases and on that, water usage. Yeah, min growing temp, max growing temp, min ideal growing temp, just 30 here, max is 40, min growing 20 here, fine with the pressure. Yeah, that's okay, daylight, that's fine. So it doesn't say anything about the water temperature, what the water temperature has to be. Okay, where's my configurator? What is this? This is a... what's its ID? One four eight eight one five. Ah, it's not that network, is it?
because I put it on attached it here it's isolated through this so I'm gonna have to get a IC housing unless I've got one knocking around which I don't think I have and an IC and quickly set something up I don't want that heater on all the time because we'll just get to the point where the water will be boiling and I don't want the water boiling obviously I could stick a heat exchanger in there which would bring it up no let's just get let's get an IC housing Um, use the right printer, that helps. So what you're doing, you just dump the last thing in there. Now just sitting here idle. Oh no, off you go again. Good. And then the IC itself. What was that? One four eight eight one five, I think it was. Hunger caution. And I've got plenty of cables, so. I seem to go to a lot of air recently. I don't know why. Um, I'm still using uh, this system to pull the air out of here that the plants are making, and I haven't had to put any more um, oxide into here for well since I set that up to be honest. So it's just pulling the oxygen out the end of the making. How are we doing? We're bringing in 80 and a half kilo kilowatts and burning 9.2. Would you just stop? I turn some of this crap off. Also, I need the fridge on. Don't need you on. I eventually got my um, biomass out of the vending machine, stuck it through the furnace. So now I've got um, about 16, 17, or 15 charcoal in there. So let's quickly connect this up, this shouldn't take me more than a minute or two. Okay, laptop chip edit. Edit, just come on. Clear, define, um, heater, one four eight eight one five. Uh, alias. Oh, no, I don't need. Don't need anything else, do I? That's it. That's all I need to define. Um, I could have just attach it to one of the pins but I've set it up now anyway so main uh, jump main so don't forget yield uh, load R0 heater temperature is that a valid thing I know it's let me set it but I don't know if the water pump um heater what settings do we have oh no I don't I'm going to have to stick something on there to measure the temperature Um, um, which means I'm going to need to put it here 
So I need to extend the pipe to stick it on. Okay. I need to take that up. I want to find what I've done my grinder. There it is. Screwdriver. Oh, so drill. Take you. I'm glad I left this pipe over here. Um, I'm going to need a liquid pipe analyzer. Thing. Liquid pipe analyzer, have I got everything? No, Electrum. Oh, no, I've got Electrum somewhere, I've used it. It's all in here. Spit the Electrum out, there it is. Right, here's the Electrum. You can go in there. Stop making you. Okay. And you're done. Got you. I've got no idea what this temperature needs to be, so I'm just going to have to guess at this point. Um, I'm like in maybe just Google it and find out. Not like that. I want to put a cover on here. I want to put a roller door on here, like I've got that one. So I'm going to move all this again. Sorry, I have to paint watching me move it all. housing, I'll actually put it here. No, I won't. I will put it here. Waste tank caution. Like so. Um, pipes, uh, cables, sorry. So I've got a connection there.
Or is it there? I'm not quite sure. Straight through there. So I'll try it now. And then you. There. 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 It's funny how you simple tasks turn into much more complicated tasks. <laughs> right. Right, you're attached to there, you're attached to there. Got to do you for the moment. So, pressure, temperature, two hundred and eighty-two k. Okay. Hydration critical. Care of all this. So watered, fed, sent that. Just make sure, not sure if there's any toxic gases in here or not, if I'm honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, there is some pollution. So let's get rid of that. Leave that on. Um, you're sorted, you're sorted. Uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, wash, suck, and wait. Right. Pin zero. Liquid pipe analyzer, and there we go. That's what I wanted, right? Define alias uh, PA. Yep. PA. Oh, come on, PA N. Thank you. Uh, D zero. So that's just defining the, the pipe analyzer. Main, read, PAN, analyzer, temperature, um, set less than set R1, set R1 less to on if R zero is less than don't know fifteen. Let's start with fifteen for now. And say batch heater on R one. So I'm doing is checking the temperature if it's less than twenty oh we put fifteen in there twenty five now again. Fifteen degrees, turn the heater on. That's it, that's all I need. Yeah, no errors. What temperature is it? Ah. Uh. No, temperature's in s Kelvin, isn't it? So you should be off, actually, because I think it's in Kelvin. Check the right ID number again.
14AA15. One four eight eight one five heater set less than instruction set R one register one if A is less than B. So if R zero is less than fifteen Let's just set that to five. I'm sure it's working in Kelvin now. I just want to check. Why you not going off? Why are you not going off? You're all connected, you're all connected, you're all connected. Power on. Well, that hasn't worked, has it? Why has that not worked? Oh, so I'm going to set this again. Oh no. Pipe analyzer, liquid pipe analyzer, that's right. Two eight three that equates to ten degrees. Fine heater one four eight eight one five. It's not to say battery save device at time. That's the error there. Was well, that should be a B and not a D, and that needs to be uh, two seven three plus fifteen. Actually, just two two eight three. That's ten degrees at the moment. If it's less than that, okay. Got to remember these devices when I'm working with the. ID numbers. It's got to be saved device, not saved batch. Right, and there we go. That's off now because that is now reading two eight three. So that's about nine degrees, ten degrees. So I want that to fifteen degrees. That needs to be two eight eight. Two eight. Nine say confirm export back on. There we go. So that's that sort. So sorry about that. Took long and expected. Right. So now all we're going to do is heat this water to fifteen degrees, and hopefully that will stop it complaining about um, the temperature being too cold. I've got a load of shit in my backpack, man. Um, where did I put that? Why is it? There we go. Okay. And it's died. This is what I was worried about. It's gone. So I. It obviously overstressed it with the cold water. So I need to work out what the water needs to be and the temperature needs to be 30 not 29 so come on button that one 30 that should be it fine um, so I don't want to do anything now until the temperature is up to Thirty degree, uh, ten degrees. It's a shame it doesn't tell you what it needs to be on here. Darkness, pressure. Uh, 
mood bonus minus 25 wow okay um water usage micro growing temperature in growing temperature in ideal growing temperature max ideal growing temperature yeah there's nothing there that tells me what the water temperature needs to be i might have to go and check back when they did the update to find out what it needs to be so i'm going to do i'm going to leave this running for now until this switches off and i know the temperature's up to 10 degrees um, in the meantime i'll go away and check online to make sure that um we are happy you know we know what the temperature the water temperature needs to be Let's see if i can find that anywhere go in there um one last thing i'm going to show you quickly Yeah, Amy's not doing anything. And this is why I only planted one of those, because I knew that if all the criteria weren't right, the plant would die. And that's how I lost my pumpkins, if you remember. So yeah, so, uh, as I said, our, our rocket has returned, I moved this in here. Um, and we went exploring, and we actually... Oops, map's wrong one. And I thought that was actually an exit to another planet from here but it doesn't appear so this is a lost moon fragment so um i think i'll try and get all the way down here next time i've certainly got enough fuel to do it in the rocket now uh, and find out what that is um this one is some hydro uh, hydrogenated gas cloud some obviously hydrogen um volatiles and things like that to go with the oxygenated glass clouds over here which provide me with their uh, dense oxygen ice um but yeah, that is my next target. How much pressure are we at? 39981. And it's too light for me to be able to get the volatiles out and throw them into there. Onto there. Oh, you can go off. You'll be empty. Yeah, you're empty so you can just go off. Yeah, what's the temperature? 19 degrees, yeah, sun's high. Alright, so one last thing I want to check before uh, I end this lesson. This session, sorry, is how we're doing on the batteries. So, yeah, where, or oh, you saw last time, expanded my solar panels, number of solar panels, and we are down to three blue. That's equivalent to three of them blue, pretty much anyway. And uh, so that's what, half full, and that one's drained. Um, so I don't need to put any more coal in here. That's all working nicely. So we currently have enough pressure, enough power, sorry, enough pressure. How are you doing? I haven't checked you in a while. Oh, three kilopa uh, megapascals, that's good. Temperature's fine. You're okay. No problems with that. No problems with any of that. I don't like that cable coming down there. I might want to move into that corner at some point. I still haven't finished panelling out this yet. Um, I have a means of transferring gases from there to there when I bring the hydrogen back or the volatiles back or the oxygen across to there when I bring back the oxygen and ice it's all that sorted, I can deal with that um, I just need more hydro uh, volatiles how many have I got in here? 19 ok I'm probably going to have to do that offline, I'll transfer I'm going to give him back back about no, I haven't. So if I try and transfer, it's going to melt too quick. I know it is. Stop. Yeah, I just filled the soil full of volatiles. Now it's probably going to get a blow. That earth. The flash over, so we're not trying to get rid of some of the gas. Um, sorry, you mean you go out the way a minute? Can I? I need to empty my hand.
Ouais. Is this the most efficient way of doing this? I need our fuel up my rocket. Alright, that's done. They've filled around now through the system and um, ultimately back into here and you can see it already. Oh, you can see it sticking out there. No, no, it's not before. It's come into here and it's now being uh, converted into gas which will feed into my gas tank. Yeah, there we go. So I'm producing fuel again. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please hit the like and subscribe and leave any comments. I do have a Patreon page where I'm currently running a uh, X4 Timelines series only on Patreon at the moment. Um, it's not on YouTube, so you can only see that via my Patreon page. And um, I will catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Starfly Gamer wishing you good night.